bit of a, a down period, and uh, I, I'm confident that they're gonna they're gonna swing back and, and get there. But it might be another month or two. For yeah, them. they need they're, they're, there's something they have to practice. I mean, they did have the uh, boot camp beforehand, but. It's tough luck for Fnatic. We start off here, 0 for 0 versus Reason Gaming, and it's going to be the knife round here on bombsite A. Uh, the winner of this knife round will decide which half they'll start off as, and it's a very important knife round. As you can see, it's an absolute maze. You've got men on top of trains, you've got men on top of barrels, and you've got things all over the place. There's literally so many things that you can hide behind on this map. Um, uh, it's, 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 it's one of those really, really tricky like maps to play. Starcraft 2 right now, top down. Yeah. I'm moving my units. Yeah, a bit of micro, micro there. Micro. Oh. <laughs> Sick micro. <laughs> oh dear, he's in trouble. Oh, 0 for 0 got two kills. Three, not bad. Not bad at all. But the thing is, you know, you really don't want to lose the knife round as well. Because once you start off as a T and you start getting that huge disadvantage and you're behind 14 to 1, it's really tough to get back into it. It's really tough. And sadly, 0 for 0 do lose the knife round, meaning they'll start off as a T side. Reason Gaming will start off at the strongest CT side. You can say that exclamation stay straight yeah. away from MSL. He it didn't even think about it. There's no there's no pause there. So I'm just going to show you like a quick, quick few things. On the outside, you have uh, these smokes which go over. And these you can, you can completely just smoke all across here. So you can smoke this off completely. And that can be very problematic, and that actually shuts down Orpus, because you can see the guy on connector can't all onto the site. The guys from you know the back lines here, they can't all onto the site either. And just to show that this little barrier you're talking about, which is not wall bangable, it's like over here. You can't shoot through this. So the common thing on e a lot of ecos is to toss over the grenades, as I just, just mentioned, hide and just that. hide behind this and get the plant down. That's that's quite a common little. That's strategy. the thing. That's the best thing about those smokes is it is a guaranteed plant. The worst thing about those smokes is once they disappear, you have no idea where the CTs are. And they can pop yeah. out from too many angles indeed. But here we start 0 for 0. Looks like they'll be going to bombsite A through Ivy. And that's an interesting choice by them. Ivy, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a tough position to run through, especially if there's one or two CTs there and if they've got smokes and flashes to play with. But we do have three men here. One at the back, just in case there's a, a rotation by the CTs, which is a, a clever thing to do. And we have one all the way in bombsite B. Uh, doing a bit of noise and damage right there. It's trying to see if they can get the CTs. And it looks like the CTs have smelt it. There are three CTs at Ivy. And they're thinking, well, it seems like there are terrorists at the end of that little tunnel. Down there. Crispy will get a kill. Phoenix will take down Quicks. And they're able to push through. That smoke actually a detriment for the CTs. It's a three on three, but the terrorists are pretty badly hurt. And right now, they're messing about here on A1. The bomb will be planted, however. And behind these unwall bangable barrels, he'll be able to hide for a little while longer. Nile taking down Wacky. It's two on three right here in the first round. And this is going to definitely decide the future of this game. I mean, we expect the CTs to win. We expect them to go for the defuse now. And uh, Madman is in a pretty tough situation there. The defuse will go down. CTs will get the first round. That'll be 1-0 uh, for Reason Gaming. The top score might be a bit um, confusing. Overall, not playing as a CT side, they're playing as a T side. The but but it's 1-0 for Reason Gaming, not for 0-0. For, mm. <laughs> for those who might get a tad bit confused. Definitely. And we're seeing, you know, the, the kind of standards thing. You know, we talk, I talked about this before. We see one proper rifle, you know, the m 3 s on Cadian. Nilla, MSL, Exa, they got those the fam asses. So no SMGs coming in, especially on a map like this. There's a lot of long ranges. You really don't want to be stuck with an SMG. Worst decision ever. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to see that. And there's Nilla watching over Ali. And we can see it just a standard push onto, you know, around onto the outside here. Bit of a split. Ali's shut off though, so they're a bit dispersed. We get a, a pick off onto PNX though, which is nice. But he was just a pistoling player, and actually, th there's another concept behind behind this. We actually saw this on Kenny S. And sometimes the assumption is is to uh, is to say, okay, the guy he doesn't buy the rifle. He's you know he's staying because he's going to go for it. Sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes what it is instead is that's they use that people uh, teams top teams are using this guy as the guy to go first to get info because they don't want to run into stacks so and and give a gun away. So they give a guy away with, with very little uh, money, or, or very low buy rather, and if he does survive, then okay, maybe he does have the option to buy an AWP, or he can buy a rifle, and he still has extra money left over. So it's, it's a really, really nice um, economic kind of, of play where that guy's role is very different. And it, this is something we're seeing a lot more in the top level, which is another great development in the metagame, which is something I really, really love. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting, as you say that, we have a full buy here by Reason Game. They were able to plant the bomb in the first round. And the uh, standard smokes that you were mentioning earlier on, that split oh. bomb site A in half, have been placed. Madman with an early kill there on Cadian. Well, Pumped in the head, EXR though, equalizing the score there. Now, Hunter is going there with a spray down, but we'll be able to finish off Wacky. The bomb is planted, which is a good bit of economy, as long as Oparo keep getting those bombs planted. They will have a bit of money to play with. Nail and uh, MSL barely surviving with about 7 HP between them. But they missed the smoke here, so this is a pretty important one. They, they missed the smoke, which was supposed to land around here, which would block off Connector. Connector. Mm. And that meant that the guys from Connector could see through. That's that that meant you know that meant that the CTs could get on top of of Ofero much more quickly than otherwise they would have been able to. So so the post plant little setup, although it's always going to be awkward on on this on this uh, bomb site, it was even a bit a bit more horrible to be honest. I mean, smokes on this map are just so so important. They completely shut off full strategies. You know, one smoke could really really hurt. Now we do have three terrorists here on uh, upper B and. It looks like they're just there to make a bit of noise as the bomb is all the way near T spawn. They're not, they haven't decided which direction they want to take. They're seeing if they can get an early pick in this game to uh, basically decide which direction the uh, team will take. PNX will uh, be able to finish off Madman all the way at Ivy. And we have MSL here, the only person bomb site beat. Actually, that's Cadian, who makes a shot from quite a distance with that AWP taking down one of the T's, and they're not even giving them a chance. They can barely, barely even see the CTs as they push through. So that's some pretty tight CT play by Reason Gaming. However, it was an eco round here by the uh, terrorist side. Now we get an op by Madman. Actually, it was bought by Madman, but it was given to Fesca. And we'll see whether that op can do much. And it's most likely going to be used there in Bombsat A to try and see if he can get a peek down onto Connector. If he's able to take Cadian down, or will Cadian take him down? As Cadian sees his foot, m hits him, puts him down on 16 HP. Nice job there by Cadian. Cadian is a bit of a monster with that. He's always doing those, those leg shots here. I mean, of course, it's really, really strong. That's the job of the Orpo on Connector on this map, is to, is to deny with, with those leg shots the Orpo there. Because even if he doesn't get the kill, they have, the Orpo has to fall back because if one HE is tossed in, he's dead, and that's a very big deal. So it's it's almost as good as, as killing him because all of a sudden there's no, there's no pressure from an AWPA over at T main. So it's a really important role that Cadian's playing there, and we can see that O two O, you know, they're O for O rather, O for O is struggling right now with, with figuring out what really to do here. And their AWPA's are going to re-peak uh, T main there, but what's actually going to happen? He's he's pretty weak and. Ofer are actually making their way through Ali as well, so they're starting to get some position here. Going to expect something to happen soon, but the bomb is all the way over at B. So this could be a very elaborate fake here on the A bomb site. But the CT side have got a really, really nice setup. They've got Cadian there at Connector. He's able to switch between bomb site A and B and give some really good support whenever he wants. He can support MSL there and bomb site B. He can go back to bomb site A and uh, take a look at the... Uh uh, um, at the connect the T side connector, so it's very very good positioning by the CT side. They're able to keep bombsite A under control with four men, and they're able to keep bombsite B control with two. So it's pretty much the best possible uh, way they can defend it at the moment. And Ofero don't really have an answer for that, as they're now pushing right into the guns of the CT side. And we're able to dispatch of them relatively well, but Quicks rising to the occasion, getting at least two kills before he's finally finished off by Cadian. So that's not really bad by him. However, 5-0 to the CT side, and it's as to be expected on a very, very CT-sided map. It's uh, interesting uh, that they had, they had, of course, like the bomber and a support man over here, whilst they had you know, one man on T main, and they, I think they had like two around Ali. So they had a very spread out kind of push going in onto the A bomb site, which looked like a fake um, initially, but they gave themselves the option to go back down pop, and that's like these squiggly lines. That's yeah. what they did. And so that's actually kind of nice. It, I, I like the, the flexibility within that play to call. And it looks like they're going to just go for a straight up inner push here, but they're, they're very forward. Unexpected position from MSL. He hasn't done that before. That has caught them off guard, and that's the first frag. And all that information, MSL knows exactly where all, the, all of the players are now, and his team are going to understand that too. Yep. 
And there's a very important reason MSL went there for that post, uh, aggressive push because he knew Kadian wouldn't be able to support him as Kadian is not at connector. He's back in deep in, in, in bombsai A. So he, if if he wanted support, he'd have to you know he'd have to wait quite a while. So he went there for the aggressive push, try to see if he can do a bit of damage. He was able to take down Wacky. So it's very good by MSL, who's doing an admiral job holding bombsai B. But right now is not the best time for them to push bombsite B. If they want to push bombsite B, they need to push early on in the round when Cadian's actually looking towards T-Connector. When, when Cadian's looking towards T-Connector, that's when you want to push bombsite B and hope you can take down MSL, hope you can plant that bomb and throw those smokes to kind of slow down the CTs as they rotate. Ooh. But um, you've got MSL coming up from behind. I have no idea. He gets himself a very easy double kill and the defuse. MSL is playing very, very well indeed. That's almost a flawless round by him. No temptation for the knife there. And that's like such a knife spot. You, you're going to go for it. And actually, if he'd done that, he would have died because there's yeah. a guy kind of in, in line of sight, but mm. you didn't see immediately. So very good for him to just get the job done. No, no funny business. <laughs> no need to embarrass anybody. But uh, let's see if uh, the terrorist side can catch on with that fast B push. I mean, if I honestly think if that's something they do, it will work out for them. But in fact, they're going for a very fast push into bombs. Hey, able to flash Kadian to a relatively good level as they'll get themselves three kills. EXR right to the occasion there on A1 will get himself a double and he's going to deny that push. It's back to a two on two and it could have been a lot worse. MSL taking down Crispy coming in from CT Connector. Now it's one on two all of a sudden and that incredibly well executed push there by Ofero has been completely destroyed by EXR and uh, MSL. Some really, really nice play by them. And Quicks is the last man standing and he's been playing very well today. Regardless of the scores and regardless of uh, the loss against Titan. Oh, that's set nice up. stack there. That setup, that was really nice. That's that's how you do it. You see, I mean, you see so many times, it's really heartbreaking when you see these 2v1s where you allow the guy who's alone to get two one on ones. That's just. No, just no, 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 no. At best, get the trade. And they obviously played that right. Yeah, they stacked together right, yeah. on the same angle. What are you going to do? I mean, you've got to get really, really, uh, really, really sick, like spray to, to deal with that. Yeah, especially their heads were pretty far apart. And here, they go for the fast push with the pistols. MSL is ready for them, however. Good smoke by him. He sees them before they see him. And it's really terrible running through a smoke like that. You, uh, you die before you uh, see the light of day or the light of... Uh, Bombsite B train. <laughs> yeah, there is any light. Actually, there is. There is. It's quite a well uh, lighted area. There's a skylight up there. There's a skylight. Oh, actually, no. It's not even a skylight. It's just open. Uh, no, it's open it's, air. yeah. It's open air. Yeah, it's open air. Yeah, this map was designed based on a real train station. Is it really? Believe it or not. Yes, I saw a picture of it. Oh wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Indeed. So. So just a reminder for those people who might be unaware, there is a. Name switch going on it. Oh, for row. Looks like they are the CTs when they aren't. But uh, we've asked for the uh, HLTV to switch it so that you don't get any confusion. MSL, actually, currently out of smokes, is going to have to be pretty careful. It will need to support Caden, but they are pushing towards bombsite 8. Bomb is down. Last man standing is crispy. We finished off it. I mean, I, I can help. I'm going to make arrows. <laughs> to put Set. them the other way. <laughs> oh, for. Oh, we've got a pause there by Reason Gaming. God, it's, uh, this is hard. Either you haven't done a bad job. Oh, yeah, we, we understand that you can just put Reason. We, we know there's, there's yes. a, there you go. Now we can't see half, half the map. Yes. I'm going to draw you now. Oh, smiley face. Is that me? Yeah. I've got a bit. What is that? Am I a snake? <laughs> oh, no, that's my body. <laughs> that's your oh, body. I thought it was my tongue. You've got a really small body and a massive head. Me. Mate, you haven't drawn my biceps. Put on my biceps, please. Thank you very much. Hang on. Y oh, there you go. You got some, get some triceps in there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mate, it looks like What's I've injected. What's going on? It looks like I've injected synthol into <laughs> my arms, mate. What? The? You got tiny forearms as well. Mate, I don't feet. miss. I don't. I don't miss leg day. Some you know big, that as well. Big <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on? What is going on here, mate? <laughs> I look like a bit of a mutant there. <laughs> uh, it looks like I've got acromegaly. My arms are like sideways. This is pretty good. I don't, what should I draw next? I don't know. You can draw yourself. Or actually, I can draw you. Let All me right, draw you. Go for it. Well, this is we're, Dan. Ha we're having too much fun. This is Dan here. He's got his uh, sick Goku haircut. <laughs> I was going to say, at least. I'm looking super saiyan. And then oh, getting oh. The anime eyes. That's backwards. My eyes is backwards. I can't draw with a mouse. I'm sorry. All right. Nice. You've got the fierce eyebrows. Sick. 
I look angry. And uh, but he's a smiley person. Oh, I forgot to put the KFC in your picture. You should be holding KFC in your picture. Oh, what's going on? I'm running out of lines. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gabe no. says no. Gabe is oh. not, not happy with it. He's not happy with the drawing. So you can only get so many lines, and then you're done. Yeah. All well, right. we're gonna have to wait for whatever is wrong. Uh, we haven't heard the uh, problem that they are currently uh, experiencing, but we're uh, gonna go back to the studio. You guys can see our real faces, not our drawn ones. Um, yeah. And you can see if, if whether that, that picture that was drawn by Dan is relatively accurate. I mean, parts of it was, but not everything. I wouldn't say everything. No, was, but, um, it was pretty close. It was pretty close. I mean, yeah. you got the biceps, I guess, and the triceps. The triceps were a there. bit off, I think. Yeah, I think they were too big. I mean, proportion-wise, um, um, you know, yeah. they're, they're like, you know, bigger than, than they should be. Yeah. But... Um, Reason Gaming versus Ovaro, it's, it's really the uh, score that we were expecting. Uh, Reason Gaming doing a relatively good job. That was actually a good push by um, Ovaro in the round before. But uh, EXR and MS MSL playing really, really well. He is uh, yeah. almost flawless throughout the game. I'm still, I mean, I, I have uh, I'm definitely not closing the book on this one just yet because uh, you never really know with Train because, again, w I mean, it's a very different map, and it, it's, it's still, to a large extent, it is CT-sided, mm. but there is so much that T's can do now that they can string together a lot of rounds. We've seen a lot of ridiculous, like what looks like the reverse of what should really happen, happen in very that top-level games, like with top, top teams like That's NIP happened. and That's Virtus happened. and stuff, yeah. where you know NIP, like they get crushed on CT half, like just decimate on, on make massive comeback on T half. It's happened, it's so happened. So if, if they manage to pull together some good momentum going into the next five, six rounds, they get that, that op off of KD. And if they s the, the problem right now as well is that in, in their spot, they need to be making those smokes work for themselves. We saw like it's shoddy, the only way, shoddy yeah. smoke throwing. It's shoddy smoke throwing. But I guess I don't think they've really practiced trend. That's the thing. A lot of people I mean haven't trained the smokes on that map, and the smokes on that map are like super important. You're right. Even even um, uh, maps like uh, it's easy to take maps like Mirage for granted. Good Mirage, for example, is a map where if you got like some sick smokes, then uh, almost like Hellraisers are having a pretty oh sick, my sick result themselves. Goodness, against Titan. Hellraisers against Titan. Hellraisers are winning nine to one. This is very interesting. The team that has practiced. No strats, has dem demolished Reason, 16 to 5, mm -hmm. and are demolishing Titan on Mirage. On oh, Mirage is just one of those maps, Titan. They've been having struggles there. They've had a lot of problems there. The top, top teams, and I'm not sure what exactly it is. I think, I think they're still trying to figure out how to, how to attack on that map. I think that's been an issue for them. Um, yeah. And the defense is usually okay, but I think their attacking side seems a bit... Um, they haven't shown the best attacks. They've got some really nice strats, but they haven't pulled it all together into one like cohesive uh, thing just yet. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, their the win ratio on Mirage has not been good, especially during the Spring League. The face at Spring League, mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they lost a few games. They actually made a pretty decent comeback. Um, I do believe it was against Team Global, if, mm -hmm. I, uh, if I am correct. My memory is failing me at the moment. Memory of a student. Yes, but I do believe it is against uh, Team Global, where they actually made quite an, a decent comeback. Um, uh, during uh, their game in Mirage. But interesting here, uh, interesting turn of events between Hellraisers and Titan 9-1 to one mm. for the Ukrainians who are looking pretty, pretty strong indeed. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. And uh, just like finishing the point about smokes, uh, there are some maps like, okay, train, you're like, all right, if you're going to play train properly, you need to have all the smokes down. You just do. Just play it to the basic season, level, you need the smokes yeah. down. Uh, but there's maps like Mirage where people, they don't think about the smokes because some of the like some of the smokes are pretty easy. You don't need to like practice them that much. But if you think about uh, Mirage, there's a lot of smokes that completely shut down the B bomb site that people don't like. Don't really use as use as much and as the they the should. The like the you can smoke the car to deny the long range angle. You can yeah. smoke um, kitchen off. You can smoke like the headshot box off. All from like really far back positions yep. to set up Behind, pushes. Yep. There, and that there is a spot. Yeah. And and the sick thing about it as well is you can also throw them on all over. Like if you there's so many, you can get every angle. Like you can work it out. I mean, I was sitting there with Devil Walk and, and and James when when they were around for the for the grand finals of the Spring League, and they just sat down for like four hours just throughout the weekend, just just showing each other all these finicky smokes. And there's smokes to do everything. And if you're able to throw smokes that deny certain positions like that, um, yeah. the thing is is that you're putting uncertainty because they lose their angle 
or, and they lose uh, a way Definitely, to get Definitely, uh, you, so you have to change have to positions, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it, it's, it changes the game massively. But we don't see a lot of that. We, don't we see yet. a lot of the bumps like A smokes on Mirage. Yeah. And that's something that you know every team has pretty much learned how to do. Yes, Those bumps yes. like A, whether somebody put up a video tutorial or they've been watching each other's POVs, but... Definitely, the bomb site A uh, uh, smokes, they're almost identical. They yeah. simply, you can smoke off the whole site and create this kind of little square mm. where you're able to just go in from ramp and go in from, and then jump over the smoke. So you smoke off under the, uh, at ladder, and you jump over. So the guy at ladder is smoked off, and then you jump mm. over, you plant the bomb, and then the CTs have to go through the smokes to stop you from planting it, or they have to wait until the smoke disappears. Yeah. Then you can renew the smokes, especially if you have the full team there. And usually it works out pretty well. CTs can retake the bombsite after that, but they're very good smokes. And as you mentioned, those bombsite B smokes could definitely help um, terrorists when they're trying to do the bombsite oh yeah. B executes. There's no could doubt about that. That's like the most dangerous thing. Like smoke car, then you're f then you're like kind of okay because you don't have to worry about car. If you smoke kitchen, you don't have to worry about the long range angles to window. You just have to worry about the guy on short. You can smoke short as well. There's actually smokes. For that. I suppose for everything. So you just have to think it think it through. But if we go back into the game, of course we, we're paused right now. I can show some of the uh, the basic like attacks and, and and bits of theory going on when it comes to to train. So we just jump back in there. I can go on the overview and draw on the map. Um, if Hello, production. I'm, do, I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing better there magic. Go. There you go. Right. It was my magic <laughs> fingers. Stuff, you saw man. that. <laughs> All right. So, so okay. And this is uh, this is one of the fundamental reasons why train train is different now. Um, uh, back in the days, you'd have orpers, you know, back here, back here, and back here. You know, very effective uh, spots for orping. Um, in all these positions to cover, you know, this guy goes goes in towards T main. This guy can also see the yard attack out. That's a very squiggly line, but. Um, a wavy one, and this, this, you know, you can see the guy on Pop Dog. So you, you have like so much coverage with the ops. Um, in in this game, though, it's so much easier to smoke yard. Again, you can make the same point. Uh, you can smoke across this. The positions you have to worry about now are T Sky. Um, when you're coming out of yard for a push, you worry about T Sky. I should really change, be changing the colors, but whatever. Um, and but generally, all this can be smoked. So you get into the bomb site, you get behind electric box, you get onto the onto these bomb spots, and that's really effective. The the problem with Ali is Ali is all about making the jewels because the smokes usually go down on Ali, but you can't just push Ali. You need to have you need to have coordinated efforts going through through here, through um, CT, uh, through T main and and Ali together, so that the players who are guarding here have to worry about you know people from from yard. So it's like the game's actually getting unpaused. So I can't go into the rest because there's more I was going to do. But it's so, all right. We're getting the game. So. The, the scores are still mixed up. Reason Gaming are the ones on the, uh, the CT side. They're the ones with eight yep. rounds, and 0 for 0 mm -hmm. currently on nothing. We're looking at the, the situation here, and we get the lovely brackets graphics just to appreciate one last time before we jump into the game. And we are seeing the AWP on Fair Square. So this is a this is a buy here. He's going to go for the alley pick with the boost up. This sees over the smokes, and this is a really really nice boost. But it is very expected. Oh, oh no, he and he misses shot. that shot, and it's an important shot of that. And Wacky is going to be the uh, victim of that mistake. And PNX throw down that smoke, knowing that there's an op marauding in that direction. He's definitely going to throw the smoke down crispy at Pop Dog at the moment. Try checking to see if there are any CTs pushing in that direction. Very unconfident play here by All Pro, who are expecting CTs from every single corner. Nice flash there by Kadian. That's pretty much flashed the whole terrorist side. It's going to slow them in their tracks. Good smoke there, putting EX out, out of the play. But as with bomb side, as with uh, train, sorry, if you are smoked off one angle as a CT, there are 20 other angles you can have. Nice nade there by Madman to take out Kadian, and things are looking relatively well. MSL, though, he's going to pop out out of connector and uh, will be shot down by Quicks there. Had his crosshair at the wrong place and the wrong time, and overall are looking a little bit tighter coming into this nice. round, and they're going to get it 8 to 1. This is a good start for them on a map where you can go on to the second half with just three rounds, and it's actually good news for your team. I like actually how Fisker, he lost his support, because we saw there was two men on Ali, he lost his support, and then he went all the way back to Oros, <laughs> all the way back here, and then attacked attacked through uh, his team main, because mm. he knew that his, his team had this half of the map. He didn't want to move with them all without support through here, deep it, you know, in enemy lines when the knew he was there. So that was quite smart. We could see that he got a good position to really help his teammates. So that was a nice little bit of coordination. But the, the other thing with this map is it's, it's very pick-based. We saw the pick initiated here on Ali, which really, really helped them out and caused a lot of panic. You know, PNX, we saw him having to take, you know, cover this position because he just has to, because if no one's covering it, their flank is not defended. So it spreads out the defense of uh, Reason Gaming there. So very, very nice. You know, oh, excuse me, we have Reason restarting a PC. Yep, yep. So we get, it just should be a, 
a very short pause here and we'll be jumping back in and but generally speaking it's a great thing to pick up around now because eight to one's not that bad as long as they can get some, some more rounds yeah. up to five yeah. they'll be happy i mean five would be excellent for them on mm. train if they can get five t uh rounds that's very very good and they, it can definitely increase their chances of uh moving on um to the uh, to, to to the final bracket and uh, perhaps even qualify all for all but uh, it's 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 doubtful it's very tough for them because right now they have to firstly beat reason gaming and then after that most likely play against either titan and hell raises but as you just mentioned before reason gaming have a uh pc restart pnx will be restarting his pc so he'll be back with us relatively soon but until then you have the uh glorious image of uh, both me and dan as we uh talk and cast so yep. more cs for you today has been pretty enjoyable but yeah. there's a lot more left we have a uh, few more games to uh, cast for you and uh, a lot of action for uh, for the for the recent future and on tomorrow mm -hmm. we've also got the quarterfinals as well so make sure to be there so i, I, I maybe that some of the viewers understand this because i was looking at my my youtube channel um earlier and i saw my kenny s video got like i don't know 2000 views in like last couple of days and just like that, that's like I think in one day it got ten times more views than any other day, which is really bizarre. And I Magic. And I, and I first mm. was marketing that like a, a month ago, so some, it's been linked somewhere, and I couldn't figure out where it's been linked. So if anyone knows who or where, oh, actually, I, don't, I don't guess it doesn't even matter. But whoever if did you do that, thanks. Check him out. Thanks. I, a lot of people seem to like that video, so it's, it's that. good. It's good. The CT spotlights are the, the good videos. Yeah, I vouch for them. It's uh, but it was when they first picked Kenny S up and Titan were. Working in because they're working him in because they have to understand like okay how do we play around Kenny S? Dust Two is a very good map for him because they can that's one of the maps where Kenny S can be really free and so they they start pioneering the yep. the two one two setup on the CT side you know two A you know one mid and two B so you get to see how Kenny S with a lot of freedom um, roams how dynamic he is and how he uses the information he gets how you know how he reacts when he gets smoked off and he can't do anything from one angle like some of the safe spots to all from that he takes and some of the aggressive peaks he does and when he does it it's quite interesting so yeah. you, so that's on 4k ddk that that's the username i know it's a horrible username i was stupid when i made that yeah. and i didn't change it but whatever um but, but uh, uh, i mean one thing that i'd uh, like to mention and talking about new teams and uh, new uh, players we believe it or not on face it we actually had a team come from that platform and i was talking to mick um i think it was last time when we had the spring league and he was telling me and i couldn't believe it but fanatic the organization actually picked up the uh, um four of the fanatic players on the uh, face it platform mm -hmm. they saw them and basically the fanatic team they were playing the face it platform they're winning all these tournaments and they were basically getting top one they're winning all the money and the points and whatnot and they were uh, as they said it nicely they were farming the platform and from there, they were picked up by an organization. For those who are like interested in perhaps you know uh, following a career on in, in, in CS, I mean it's a it's a good place to start. You've got 128 tick rate servers. You've got tournaments almost every day. <laughs> Dude, it's sick. There's not enough tournaments because every time like, I'm looking, it's like it's oh, I can play a tournament. It's like you have to sign up at like 9 a.m. to play a tournament. Like at, because know, so many 9 teams PM are. The other day, yeah, uh, that day. It's and it, and, and to be honest, I mean, okay, you can do the matchmaking kind of thing where you just play in queues and stuff. But the tournament, it's not about the tournaments. You play against some really good players yeah. and. And just that tournament kind of play and 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 the the the, the competitiveness that comes with it, it's a different experience, really. And it's the best way to improve teams, especially if you've yeah. if you've got a team and you want to try and uh, reach that that high level. So definitely check out the the platform. At, uh, and face you it. You don't have to com. enter any results or anything. You just it just it's it all takes, automatic. You yeah. you press play, you play the game, and you leave. You and win or you fact. lose. And if you win, that's great. Up the the results if also you lose upload it to the bracket and then you just it just moves you through and yeah. then you get put into like a new lobby so yeah. for the next game so it just automatically if you lose you can just play the next day <laughs> yeah that's the thing the yeah that's day, the yeah, thing so. it's crazy Indeed, but uh, so. yeah definitely definitely check th check that mm -hmm. out but at the moment we are currently waiting for Reason Gaming to uh, get back and uh, so we can continue the game and see if O for O are there. Yeah. If they're able to secure some rounds before the end of this half, it'd be very interesting indeed. Or if Reason Gaming um, will uh, continue with their dominance and uh, will qualify to the final bracket. Anyway, we're going to have a quick commercial and we'll see you guys very, very soon.